Come on, stand up and give amen. amen. Sit down. Smile, smile, and let me see your teeth. You don't want to smile. I say smile, and let me see your teeth. God bless you. Number four. Number four. You must look for the right person when money failed. Look for the right person when money do what? Failed. You know, we had a place in the Bible, and I'm going to show you now. There was a time money failed. People were out of money. Things were so bad. They looked for the right person. You can't be in a very poor situation and still go and meet a poor man. You will die. The man may not have the money, but the man carry the grace. Are you following what I'm saying? Because you are not going to the rich man because you want to collect his money. You are going to him because you want to tap into his uh, grace. Is that, is that clear? You know, go answer me. Is that clear? You are going close to him. You want to tap into that grace. You want to look like him. So you look for the right person when money fails. And I know so many of you, you had money before, all of a sudden, you went into some places and then you know. And your brain, you were brainwashed. Some of you, you sell up your company. Some of you, you fold your business. That was foolishness. That was foolishness. God is a God of passion and profession. Okay? When Jesus was on earth, he had his passion, he had his profession. All the disciples had their passion, they had their professions. When fish and food finish, Peter went to do a fishing. Why? That was his profession. And when Jesus met him, Jesus proved to him as being a fisherman before you were born. It's my own profession also. And so he could direct Peter where to launch the net. What you are not, you cannot direct others to do. So your profession is needed. You were doing little things. You fold and everything. It's not all about folding. It's all about restructuring it. You can get somebody that you train people. Somebody can be doing it. And they are reporting to you. And you are doing ministry. And you are fine. I had a younger brother. One of my brothers in the village. Not the same mother, but we are related. He told me the day God called him. God break his hand. Breaking two arm, breaking two leg. I told him, Can you go and do this? He said, Sorry, sir, I don't understand. God warned me to my ear that my hand should not touch anything. I look at his face. I saw a liar. Because I know by God's grace, I'm highly anointed. And my hands still touch something. And I will not know that I'm anointed until my hand touch something. The evidence of the anointing I carry is the prosperity in what I touch. So if 
I can't touch granite. For granite to multiply, then how do I know that my congregation will multiply? Job a righteous man. Talk to me. Was he a righteous man? He was the richest person in the Middle East. And yet he was righteous. It's possible you can be wealthy and be holy. Is it possible? With your hand at me, is it possible? God will make it possible in your life in Jesus' name. Let me show you that scripture. So many of you know the scripture. In Genesis 47, Genesis 47, thank God for sunrise. It's a balanced ground. You will get everything here. Why you practice holiness? You will not regret being a pastor. Am I talking to you? You will not. It's important. So when I hear people say God is taking their time, I pity them. In Genesis 47 verse 15. Are you there? Read it for me after you want go. Who do they go to? <laughs> Why they not go to Pharaoh? They went to Joseph. When money failed, you need to look for the right person. So you are not here by accident. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, you're not here by accident. Yes, you're here so that we can turn your mindset. Yes, you're not here by accident. <laughs> I want to prophesy in your life this morning. I don't know. The thing is, is just boring on, on the inside. Lift up your hands. Money shall not fail again in your life. Put up that. What makes money fail before in your life? That thing is associated with that has caused your poverty leave you now put up I connect you to your Joseph in the name of Jesus
take a seat. Masakara sita patada. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Number five. Invest in God's project. Why? Because money in Christ is money sustained. Why money outside Christ is money soon gone? The highest bank for you to invest your money is in Christ. That is the only money that is secured. Any money you invest outside Christ will soon go. Invest in the gospel. Invest. How dare you? You're running a church. Broom, no day you go call general overseer. How? How? See, there is nothing wrong for only general overseer to be giving money. Nothing is wrong. But did you know what you would have done to yourself? You are, you are piling all your wealth and be giving to the general overseer. See, see, nothing is wrong if you allow him to be doing it alone. My brother, every commission is destined for wealth. And there is a volume of wealth given to that commission. Now, if only the man is fetching and fetching, and which one will you get? The man keep getting larger and expanding. And you, we had that experience sometime from where I'm coming from. The colors we wanted to, we needed. Take 300 million and they call us. And then I was just growing. I was just growing in life. The sum of 30 of us. We needed this money now. Okay, sorry, it was 30 million that night. It says, we needed the 30 million. That's why we call 30 of you. So give me one, one million. One person stood up. And give the check for 30 million. If you see what we went through there that night, you won't believe it. We say, No way, we will tear that check. You see the check? We will tear them. It cannot work. <laughs> the man was confused. The state of Asia that invited us was confused. And it was Pastor Daminabo. He sat down and was looking at us. We say, you are joking. Pastor, you can't collect that check. Give him back the check. We are 30, and the 30 of us must be represented. We say, you can give your check for another one, not this one. We raise the one, one million, all of us. If you say, you want to add 20,000, you say, no, no way. is a church. That is the church we want to run. It's not church you come, you say, lick my shoe and put money. You put 100,000 naira. See, in another few times from now, before the end of this year, we will call, when we need 500 million, we will call 50 brothers. They will give us in the name of Jesus. church we are talking about. And that is why we are going to do everything to turn your mindset. Opportunities comes to me every day. We are looking for people. We are going to turn your mindset. We'll turn your head. This is your head. If you refuse to change, 
you will crack it and take out that brain. Watch it. Put it back. You know why? Because some of you must be ministers. Some of you will be commissioners. Nothing will be wrong if a brother in this church is a governor. We are not doing those kind of holiness. So this one is holiness with, with prosperity. Holiness with voice. Holiness with voice. God will give it to See, people thought it's not possible. They will live with their two eyes and see it happen. Take a seat. It will happen. When they begin to see you the way you used to be before, and they now see that things have changed, they will understand that it's possible. If you believe it's possible, give me a loudest amen. Invest in it. Point number three. Let me finish point number two. In point number two, we have looked at the, the spiritual principle, right? Yes. Now, let's look at practical principles. In practical principle, number one, money is a follower. Stop looking for money. The reason why people does not have money is because they are looking for money. You don't look for money. Money looks for you. And I will tell you how that works. Let me ask a question first. Why was money printed? Money was printed for what? Yes. You're putting up your hand. Let me see your hand. Money was printed for what? Okay. To make way. Eh? To make way. Okay. Yes. Miss of exchange. Yes. Miss of exchange. Yes. To answer everything. So Holy Ghost will be in our pocket. Yes. Yes, ma. Medium of exchange. Yes, back there. Pretend to be a servant. Yes, sit down. Yes. Easy transaction. Yes, good. Come here. Come here. Stand here. Clap for this man. Go. Money was created to solve problems. So if I need to get money, I will go and look for where there is problem. If you want to clap, you can clap. <laughs> All right, let me tell you. It's very simple to make money. Very simple. Very simple. I come to this conference right now. And I've discovered what is lacking each time we come for conference. I've discovered a problem. That problem is my money. That's money. I get into a village or into a town. What is lacking here? What is their problem? I don't do business because I used to know that business when I was in uh, Abakleke. No. I don't double 
go into doing something because I used to do it when I was in Port Harcourt. No! I get into a place because if I do business on the basis of what I used to do, that I know, and not on the basis of the need of that place, I will still fail. So, for me to do the right business is the business that the people need. It's a problem. Okay, I get into this place. And I discovered that each time people come for conference, they are shield the court. They are see past the court. They're going to run up and down, look for shoemaker. I come the next time. I sit down there, I carry my Bible. And I carry my shoemaker. Will I be looking for money or money will be looking for me? Money will come to me. So money go to a man that identify problem. You don't look for money. Money comes to you. Why you are still poor is that you are busy looking for money. You won't find money. You cannot see money. You know why? <laughs> because money does not stand. Money is not ahead of you. Money is behind you. So the more you look for it, the more it disappears. You can't see it. But when once you, you are going, you saw a problem. You pick that problem. It's okay. Your money is the ability to discover what men need. That's some money. If you want to make 10 trillion today, you will make it. Today, you make money. Just know what is the problem. Here I am. Now, so if I am posted to a place and I get to that place and I know that the problem here is not Gary. They have Gary. And I go to my place because there is a place where there is Gary in my place. And be parking Gary there. Nobody will still look for me. Anything you need to do fasting and prayer for before it start coming is not the right thinking. This one I told you is practical. I didn't tell you that this one is spiritual. <laughs> if you want to clap your hand, you can clap your hand. I want me to give you spiritual, spiritual. I will give you practical. So, stop looking for money. What did I say? And start looking for values. Start looking for values. Stop looking for money. Look for values. I got into his place and they told me there is no money no money in one of the states in far north they said there is no money I said what is the problem we can do this, do this they said no, no money can we pay I said okay just sign I will produce the money here in your state they didn't know when I was coming in I saw those money inside limestones. There is money, so much money. The people are there, they didn't see it. <laughs> they didn't see it. See money. That place where you are, if you see money there, the kind of money that is there, you'll be amazed. Money is everywhere. Stop looking for money. You're looking for money. You say, I'm looking for money. Let me, who can I call now to get money? You are jokers. What can I do? What can I lay on now? You study your environment. There are places that selling water alone will give you all the money you need. Am I talking to you? 
give you all the money you need. You say, I used to be a, a teacher. I want to open school. As soon as we get to the place, it must be that school. Meanwhile, there is school everywhere around you. It will not work. You must diversify. You must be flexible. Do what the people need, not what you want. Have I given you injection? Yes, sir. What are you supposed to do for me now? Yes, oh my God. You will never be poor. Yes, do you know many of you are coming to give me testimony? Yes, I say you will never be poor. testimony you are coming with eh? you don't understand sit down now approach to identification also comes let's say what I identify that is the need of the people has to do with what has to do with government or has to do with something that I need to see third parties I need to do three things to succeed. Number one, I need to go and work on my wardrobe. So I work on my wardrobe. Two, I need to take vitamins, good vitamins. So take the vitamins, eat well, maybe for the period of one week. So you eat well. Eat fruits, vegetables. That way, your face will improve. Get into a good salon. Cut your head well. Go for barbecue, spend small money, they cut your fingernails, take care of you, dress well, clean your teeth. <laughs> when you're going there, make your contacts. Make your contacts. They will allow you. What you carry on your body, the way you walk, your clothes, the way you present yourself, will determine whether they will allow you or not. They will allow you. You don't talk too much. I'm here to see your excellency. They say, please sit down. You sit down. You don't talk too much. It's okay. Is he aware you're coming? Please. Maybe you can find out from him. But I'm here to see your excellency. You change your English. You don't need to carry Bible that day. You don't need to you don't need to dress like a reverend. I was going for a business tree. One bishop follow me. He wear his cap here. And I was going for business tree. So I, my peer is not here. The one in the business world is not here. And I told my peer, I said, tell that man to go and change up. He said, no, I'm a bishop. I said, so I'm not going. If you are not going to change up, me and you, we are not going. Finish. You can go. Shebi, I'm the investor you want to carry there. You, you are not an investor. You, you are a reverend. But you, you need to go and change up. He went change up. When we get there, he said, let us pray. 
I said, please, can you take your prayer and go and wait there? Who wants to talk? We came here for business. Carry your prayer. Go and wait. Let's finish our business. You can come and pray for us. And we went straight to discuss business. And because the way I was talking, the person we come to see just saw that that man was just a mere religious person. And he knows nothing he's talking about. In fact, at the end of the day, they order him to leave the meeting. He said, come on, leave here. And I sat down, we finished everything, and we put a viral. See, nobody will address you more than the way you address yourself. People thought that when you buy clothes, you are wasting money. It's a lie. It's part of your obligations. It's part of your pulpit code. Don't think you want to just be local and be local and be local. You are so local, Satan. You have done this Bible now. You are making local. Bible is not local. Bible is an international book. It's global. If you go to London, where, where do they read? What do they read? If you go to America, where do they read? Where the white man they read? Where the black man they read? Why are you playing with it? You can buy this Bible for 3,000. You can't preach it with 3,000, my friend. You need 3 trillion, 10 trillion to preach it. Are you checking with it? It takes too much money to preach it. Are you joking with it? Who tell the Bible is just for play? It's not for play. Oh. God will make you understand the use of Bible in Jesus' name. Amen. If I were you, I would have given a resounding amen. amen. So practical, what did I say? Number one. No, 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 no. I mean my practical uh, principles. I've given you one. I say money is a follower. Stop doing what? Stop looking for money. Number two, identify problem and solve them. That is how money comes. Identify those problems, solve those problems, and money will look for you. You can make so much of money in your village if you know the problem of your village. Any man that cannot identify problem cannot make money. That is why they say fear, fear man, not they buy moto. If every day, everything that comes, you there fear, too much fear. You cannot take any step. You cannot take any, any step. You want everything to come normal. A pastor cannot be normal. If you are normal, resign. Because if you are normal, you are not going to tell a blind man to open his eyes. No normal man will see a blind man and say, open eye. You are not normal. You are abnormal. Your brain is not correct. It's not a normal thing to see somebody wear cripple. You say, stand up and walk. <laughs> so, you are not a normal person. Why do you want to be doing normal things? He said, Auntie, let me get do a cowo, a cowo, Auntie, a cowo fool. Oh my God, you are not a normal person. Jump into any problem, that problem will give you results. Who tell you, say, Man, we want to make money, they run away from trouble. You look for where there is problem. You solve those problems. Money will come. It will look for you like this. Eh? You will be, you will tell money, can you stop? You will say no. 
you were the one that identified the problem. <laughs> Before I round you up this morning, can you give a clap of ring for the Lord? God bless you. Number three, create values. Create values. Look for values. What can you create that other people has not done? Create what people has not done. In everyday life, there are things people have not done, thousands of them create values. And more than we follow you. Number four, understand the reason why money was made to solve problems. Therefore, it is only a man that can identify problems that will make that money. Because money will not go to a place that he has no business with. Since it was made to solve problems, it needs where there is problem for it to manifest. Look up here. That is why if you don't start a foundation, you will never build a house until you die. You know why? Because money will not come before action. Money comes after action. That is why you can't open a supermarket until you go there and price the shop. So you just go. I need a shop. The man said, okay, this shop is 20 naira. He said, okay, I'm taking it. I'm taking year to year. You go. You know what you have done? You have created a problem. When you go back home, you won't be able to sleep. You now start thinking, how do I pay? When once you start thinking, how do I pay? Results will come. Solutions start coming. Okay. 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 I'll do this. Okay, the money will come. Okay. You pay. You don't have capital to start. Now go negotiate with people that have their goods. I have shop. Bring it. I will say, I'll give you money. Start making money. You must create it. You have to create it. See a line you like. Go for it. I want to buy. You, you know they go for anything. Even when your wife says, let's go for this one. You say, no. As you see me, I don't want any trouble. Though. You don't want trouble. Die. Even a man that dies still have trouble. Do you know that he has trouble? If he not get trouble, make you not swallow, make you not boss. Now trouble make him swallow. Even when he don't die, he goes to do that. You go still boss. It's not comfortable. You do that comfortable. Every situation is normal. Weird of God. Who tell you you're a liar? Which word of God? I wish above all things that you do what? Prosper. The other one you are saying is not the word of God. He said, God just want me like this. Who tell you? Who tell you? Change your mind. Change your mind, bro. Change it. Forget that thing they tell you. They don't love you. Change your mind. Forget. 
Still, they are telling you stories. He said, when you get to heaven, if the only one will get to heaven, why did Jesus come here? If he was not important, why did he come? He would have remained in heaven now. But did he come here? Talk to me now. He came here. And when he came here, you know what he said? Do you know what he said? He said, when you want to pray, pray after this manner. Pray after this pattern. Thy kingdom come. He said, this is the pattern you should pray first. So, before you pray any other prayer, even before you say, forgive them, before you pray forgiveness prayer, the first thing is, thy kingdom He was interested here. Yeah. If you cannot be better here, yeah, you get confused there. You get confused. We'll go there now, you will see some people will miss road. They say that place is made of gold. No be so. Now poor people they carry gold. God bless you. Amen. Another challenge is the challenge of spending. Is the challenge of what? Talk to me now. I told you this morning I came to teach. What did I say? I come to teach. If yesterday you were not revived, it's not this morning you won't do that revival. We did it yesterday, yesterday evening. This one, we come to teach you this morning. We come to teach. And to pray for a turn around financials in our lives. God will give us financial turn around. Our finance shall have a good turning around in the name of Jesus. That's what we are here for this morning. As we progress, we enter other phases. This generation, every generation we go go pastor, they tell them say, just wait. Our own generation we are patience. How many of them can be patient now? See all those children that is coming up. You have to prepare for them. You get to prepare for them. You get to do it. Somebody met with me. I asked him, if you see the man, you won't know. I said, how many children do you have? He said, I have 18. You won't know. Slim like this. Small size. But it's a great performance. a great performer has 18. He said, I have grandchildren. He said, I have grandchildren. I have my children. I have grand. <laughs> well, the number you produce is not a problem. The problem is, what are you planning for them? What are you putting together? Nothing is wrong if you identify something around where you are and why sisters, most of our sisters fail in business is that if you ask a sister which business you want, you say, I want to sell biscuit, I want to do full stuff. It's only one full stuff, one full stuff, one full stuff. They don't do any other thing. And the first of nobody said they are doing all states. Nobody said they are doing the, ma the major one. He picked them uh, 
Yeah, retail. Yes. A big 20 packet of biscuit. He keep here. He pick this one. When picking, come back for school. Mommy. Oh, yo, yo. Mommy. He pick one. Yeah. Back. His profit in that biscuit is uh, 50 naira. When they begin chop three, he don't finish profit. Enter capital. only one type of business. It's not. It's not. The guy that is producing biro today, this other biro today, that guy was one of the poorest guy in Nigeria. You just sit down and take statistics of how many children are in school in Nigeria. And he just discovered that there was a shortage of biro. He went into it. Today he's making money. If he took statistics of Politim back, this leather, black leather Politim back, today currently we have shortage of Politim back of over 18 million to 20 million per month shortage in Nigeria. You are not studying. Go in for statistics. Check. Where we have a shortage. Where is problem coming from? Go into it. You just become an employer of labor. It will happen to somebody here today in Jesus' name. So one of the ways is how to spend money. So many guess money, but they don't know how to spend it. And because they don't know how to spend money, they, they make money and remain poor. You can make money and yet you're still poor. So you must know how to spend money. Write it down. Spend money on urgent needs. What are the urgent needs? Three of them. Number one, things that has to do with life. Things that has to do with life. If you're here, and they say your wife, your wife is down. You, you are down. The children are down. There is a health challenge. It's an urgent need. You can spend money there. Am I talking to you? You can spend money there. You are held. It's part of your wealth. So watch what you eat also. Meaning, spend good money on what you eat. Stop managing what you eat. Soup don't sour. There's no problem. Man, I just put a cow inside. Put a cow. You know where I sabi all these things? I'm growing from a grad root. <laughs> so understand it. Don't ask me, I need to know all these things. You don't know where I, I come from. Eat well. You don't need too much money to eat well. Is that clear? I keep your plates, keep your kitchen clean. Some of us, if you enter your kitchen, there are choristers in that kitchen. There are priests, there are prayer warriors. 
All the cockroach are the prayer warriors. They do pop, 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 They are speaking in tongues. Cockroach. And they see all the choristers. Flies. Everywhere. I beg of you. Anything that has to do with life is a need. I say it's what? It's a need. That's what you need to spend on. You want to give your wife money now to go and cook. You give her 500 naira. My brother. My brother. 500. 500. You say manage. Manage. She don't do all the management. The one the mama did. The one the grandmama did. The one the grand grandmama did. She did everything. No way. No work. She go and buy a four. Of, is it a four or being? What do they call it? A four Archie. Throw the thing like this, he throw the thing like this. The thing is giving you another grandma here, he giving you another grandma here, he giving you another grandma there. It were anything that has to do with your life is a what? Can I hear you? Can I hear you, please? It's a need. And I pray that. You will take it serious in Jesus' name. Yeah. Number two, things that affect tomorrow, anything that will affect your future, is a need. Let's say, if I don't spend this money today, if I don't spend this money, if I don't invest money into this business today, my future, we have problem. That is a need. Something that will connect you with your future is a need. Something that will leave legacy for your children is what? A need. Those are need. Need no be beer. Need no be cigarette. Need not be to go to hotel. When you go house, you spend 500. When you go to hotel, where your wife no day, nobody day, you spend 2,000. There's no need. You're spending on the wrong thing. You leave that place as you go home. You cry poverty. When once you go back, you tell your friend, well, let's meet for that joint. What are you doing in that joint? You just talk story. You just play rideau. You just play draft. Your poverty, no deliverance can bring you out of it. Once you get to that level, no deliverance can bring you out of it. You, are, you, you, you just kill yourself. My prayer for you this morning is that every spirit of destruction that has made you miss road before Live your life now in the name of Jesus. Take your seat. I'm going to be praying now. Another two, three, four minutes. I should be praying with you. And this morning we are really going to pray. We do some little bit of prayers. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. What did I say is number one? 
You spend money on what? Number one. Things that is related to life. It's urgent. Meaning, if there is an urgent need, you don't spend money on things that is not urgent. Number three, things that will bring value. That's to say, All right, maybe I use. Oh, thank God, I didn't even have money here. There is money here. I'm blessed today with money for you. Let's say this speaker. If I put three thousand in this speaker in one week, and I'm sure, I'm very sure that if I put three thousand here. By end of the week, I will make five thousand. It's a need because it will bring value. Those are needs. Those are the places you should spend your money. You don't just spend money because you want to spend money. You don't just spend money because you want to lavish money. And while you are doing that, you have what they call waste. What did I say? Waste. Waste. Now, in spending, if you don't make provision for waste, you are going to be having troubles. So let's say you have 100,000. You keep 10,000 for waste. Now it means if I meet somebody I did not plan I was going to dash the money but the thing just we are called I bring up 500 naira I give him it has nothing to do with my plan my plans were made on 90,000 and so my life continues if the 10,000 are finished on the 22nd of the month, I'm not going to spend another money again on waste. So you don't spend on emotion, you spend on knowledge. It's not by emotion. It's not by how you feel. It is by how he works. From this moment, going forward, you will make money. How many of you are ready to make money? Stand up and carry your Bible. Prevailing over poverty in Proverbs chapter 10 Verse 15. Open your Bible. We want to prevail over poverty this morning. You're going to do a really prayer this morning and prevail over poverty. Your poverty does not give God glory. You can't be poor. You can't remain poor. God forbid. You shall be rich in Jesus' name. Amen. Give me amen. All right, in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. Let's read it together after two one go. It's very strict. When you are rich, it makes you a strong city. Not a strong man. You become a strong city. And before we make this prayer this morning, 
We are going to be praying on covenant. We are going to pray first this morning. I say, Father, from today, from today, I refuse to be poor. Lord, this knowledge I've acquired, I will use it, I will maximize it, and I will succeed. I prevail over poverty in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus name we pray how many of you love poverty you love it you want to be poor how many of you want to be out of poverty today how many of you know that poverty is a yoke and it's a cause I want you to pray with all amount of seriousness right now destroy the yokes of poverty in your family open your mouth and pray If I see you, you are not praying. I'll bring you here. You come and tell me why you are not praying. Let me not see you. You are not praying. You are not going to come and drag us back here. Destroy the yokes of poverty. You can die like this. You can 